more important thing for me was sometimes roadblocks cause you to find a more interesting path. And in this case, the path led to Manning. The flaw of the WikiLeaks leaking mechanism was that even though Assange, though he doesn't admit it, was having a kind of chat back and forth with, with, with Manning or with the source, I feel strongly that psychology is an important part of the story, that human motivation is an important part of the story, that personal character is an important part of these stories. You can't just, um, you can't separate that out. I don't think Lance, at the end of the day, was that psychologically difficult. I mean, in a way, he shares a lot of traits with Steve Jobs. Um, you know, he had this burning will and desire to succeed and also was, I think, haunted very early on by a kind of deep anger of his father being missing. I, maybe one of the more complicated characters for me was uh, Elliot Spitzer. Uh, and the reason being because he was such a smart guy, and he knew the risks that he was taking when he took those risks, but he took them anyway. Yeah. And he had a very difficult time even understanding how and why it was that he did what he did. To some extent, it's a little bit like the Bob Dylan line, to live outside the law, you must be honest. So, um, so you, 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 because there are not that many people checking you institutionally, you, at least I feel, you have to be a little bit extra careful, particularly given some of the subjects I've taken on. It's visually evidentiary, but it's also beyond the evidentiary part. In making a film, sometimes you're doing something that's a little bit closer to a nonfiction book rather than a newspaper article. Unless I tell a good story, nobody's going to be interested in the broader thematic concerns. And there's no doubt that every one of my films contains my point of view, and that's why, well, my film that I made, uh, uh, she's 10 years ago, on Enron, has an actor reading the narration, Peter Coyote, wonderful narrator. I've since dispensed with that because I feel that, that um, it's more honest. First of all, it's cheaper if I do it. <laughs> Second of all, it's more honest in some fundamental way because it's me speaking. Yeah. So there's no, there's no, it's not the voice of God, it's the voice of Alex, which is a lot different. All of my films have a point of view, but the trick in my films is to show how hard it is to reach that point of view. Well, I told a story about the Pope, too, and I didn't have his cooperation either. I think you have to be careful about access because you don't want to trade your independence for that access. If you believe, and that's all you think about is just believing, it leads you to some terrible places. If you find an enemy, it means you don't really have to reflect on what you're doing. You look at the enemy and, 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 and imagine that they're attacking your sacred values. Thing that I couldn't stop thinking of after watching that film was the, the smarts and the eloquence of the people who had been in the, move, in, the, in, in the religion for decades. And that after the fact, are able to see everything that's wrong with perfect clarity and to explain it in a way that just, that, that, that just crystalline. Let's sum up, let's get the story, let's move on. Next story. You look at the same facts, you look at the same phone book to take Werner Herzog's metaphor, and actually you find that there's, you know, you lift up a page and there's a secret page there. It sounded like in the, that Jobs is portrayed as potentially somebody who suffers from mental illness. I mean, that, that was like in the Holden review. I'm going off a, re a review of, not even a full review, but that sounded like that was uh, strongly hinted at in the, the film. There's an element of, of kind of an aspergic, monomaniacal, uh, to some extent. But there are periods where you have to be all in. The theatrical business model for the independent filmmaker, whether it be fiction or nonfiction, was atrocious. And there's a quality to that material that transcends the actual written content of what is being said. And to me, that's the beauty of cinema. It's the mystery of it that keeps us watching because it's only describable by watching it.